All right, uh, let me start by showing you the date and time. The time is 4.48 in the morning. Time is uh, September 30th. Okay, did you see? September 30th, yeah. Mm, it's come, yeah. You'd not believe I have spent nearly a month on this topic that I'm going to speak to you about. It's about AI and all the questions that uh, I wanted the answer. Now, the problem with AI, now, before, before I get into this topic, it's about AI and everything about AI. Uh, let me tell you, this is going to be a long video. I don't know if I'm going to make it part one, part two, part three. Um, but watch this video at 1.5x speed and uh, feel free to comment down below with the timestamp where you think I'm wrong. Now, I'll tell you what has been the challenge for me to make this video. Uh, the big problem has been, if you ask an AI enthusiast, what does he think about AI? He will give you gloom and doom predictions. He will say, uh, there are people who have told me 50% of all workforce will lose their jobs. Humans will be replaced in five years, 10 years. There have been people who even have told me, you know, it can go up to 99.99%. Entire humanity, it'll be something like a Terminator movie. AI will take over, bye-bye. You know, we don't need you humans. More like that movie, what is it, Prometheus? Yeah, why do we need weak humans who need to be fed and they need to take rest and all that? Okay. So AI enthusiasts, they believe that AI is the future. Then on the other hand, you go to a guy who is a normal guy working for a normal, say, a restaurant, runs a restaurant. Like my friend Babu, Indian hot. He runs a restaurant. He has a kind of like, I think, uh, 15, 16 or 20 staff, cooks and all that. I mean... What AI is going to replace? AI is not going to replace him. He's not going to replace his chefs. He's not going to replace his waiters. And I don't think he wants to spend uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars to create a system. He's very happy. He's saying, for what I need AI? I might as well buy a plot of land if I want to create AI. I just have to serve food. Okay. So people like him believe AI is only for IT people. Okay. And then you've got people in between who work jobs and they have seen some People, especially we see those videos, no? Google employee, Google tech laid off, Meta employee laid off. And uh, we have seen, oh, okay, a department with 10 people. Now only two people are there. They operate with AI. So it's, it's all over the place. And on top of that, when you get um, the founders and investors like, uh, what's his name, Sam Altman and uh, Elon Musk, they will beat the drum of AI and say that is the future. And uh, you have to take everything Elon Musk says with a pinch of salt. Because remember, he's the same guy who said he will colonize on Mars. Okay, they'll be the underground boring company, you know, cars will go. And you will travel from USA to from one part to another in a few seconds with a rocket. And yes, don't forget, he also promised you Solar City. None of which he's talking about it right now. Remember his Dogecoin to buy Tesla and... Uh, what is that? Uh, cyber truck will be selling like, wow, oh, everything, everything failed. But they, you know, put it under the rug. They don't talk about it. So everything, uh, Elon Musk and uh, Sam Altman also is not uh, someone I consider of very high value because he's a guy who first told, ah, oh, we will develop AI for humanity. You know, it'll be non-profit. All of a sudden became profit. And then he said in a congressional hearing, I don't have any shares. You know, I'm just paid a simple salary. I'm a simple man. Only to, for you to find out that, yes, he does have shares. So the problem is the elite, they say one thing, they do another thing. Can't trust them very much. Okay. And obviously, you can't expect uh, uh, Sundar Pichai and Satya Nadella to tell you the truth because they are good managers. They are responsible for the uh, returns to the shareholders. So they have to say what sounds good for the company. Vision, the future, humanity, AI. You know, they can't say, like Apple, Tim Cook, do you think he's ever going to say, we fucked up, the phone sucks, you know, our uh, AI, total disaster. No, they'll never do that. Okay. So because I had the challenge for all this masala, I had to really do my research. It was tough. Uh, there are people who, you know, this guy who, uh, created deep seek he has been uh, given a he has been knighted is considered um, 
one of the greatest minds uh, demis d e m i s h a s s a b i s hasabis the ceo of google deep mind he is known as sir demis hasabis because he is knighted and he has won a nobel prize in chemistry is no small uh, ordinary you know not job he knows what he's talking he spoke about agi and he believes that uh, agi one day will even solve diseases problems cancer but on the other hand you also have people who have uh, you know they are also learned people with the uh, a phd top notch economists uh, his name is d a r o n darren ace moglu yeah his uh, article uh, shook the AI, ai world when he said no ai is not going to succeed it's a failure and i'll tell you why okay so overall it has been a massive challenge for me to come up with everything that is balanced but i wanted to be fair i wanted to give the pros you know like a debate the good side the bad side and then finally the conclusion all right see already nearly 7 minutes over so having said that let us start and feel free to correct me if you think i'm wrong <laughs> 